YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is going to be a quick trailer breakdown for the most recent trailer for the Abba Ranger Returns movie. Now, my breakdowns are pretty casual. I'm not one that's like, his coat is like this. What does it mean? It's just kind of a casual breakdown. A little bit late on this. It came out, I think, right before the weekend. I wanted to do a video for it uh, over the weekend or right before, but as you know, I was having camera problems. Thankfully, I have the camera back up, and that was just kind of too hard of a video to work on from my phone because I wanted to grab some pictures for it and stuff. But yeah, the Aubrey Ranger Returns movie, the general premise is about the Aubrey Ranger's sort of way of heroics, their outdated way of heroics being questioned, which looks like it's going to be kind of interesting and fun. I'll be curious to see, like, what's brought up in regards to maybe comparing, like, new Sentai to old Sentai, but it's an interesting premise that very much feels like it could be uh, something that is ripe for Aubrey Ranger's style, which is something I love about that series is they can do stuff that actually has good, interesting storylines, but also some wacky fun, and this premise promises that. But the trailer doesn't give us anything too huge. You know, you just see some updates on the cast. Not updates, but you know what I mean. You see some shots of the cast. You know, they just look like slightly older versions of themselves, which makes sense. I don't even know why I just said that. I only point that out because, like, I feel like the only one that doesn't look older is the Black Ranger, but his hair is just smaller. That's a weird way of putting it. Like, that's what I say when people get haircuts. Oh, your hair got smaller. No, but it looks like it got shrunk. I don't know what I'm even saying. But regardless, you know, the cast looks good. We get some shots of them fighting. Um, good look at the suits. It'll be a nice HD footage. We've gotten some HD footage of them, you know, from stuff like the Dino Team-Up movie and stuff like that. It should have been its own movie. The GoBusters deserve more. I'm still not over it. And we get a look at the, one of the monsters they'll be fighting, which looks like a classic Abba Ranger monster. Um, you know, we have a panel, it looks like. Uh, possibly some sort of debate over the Aubrey Ranger's style and stuff like that. It uh, looks like a news uh, panel. It's like, must there be an Aubrey Ranger? There is. Must there be an Aubrey Pig? Of course there is. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, the two most significant things in the trailer, uh, in addition to action shots, are the return of Aubrey Killer, who, if you don't know, spoilers from 2003, so it's not a spoiler. As far as I'm concerned, it's not a spoiler as soon as it's released. But uh, Aubrey Killer's dead. He killed himself. Well, he didn't kill himself, but he, he died at the end of the franchise. Or of the franchise. Yeah, he went to the future when Sentai was canceled and then he died. No, but he died at the end of Aubrey Ranger. Uh, so, uh, he's back somehow. Somehow, Aubrey Killer's returned. And, of course, he's fighting them, probably over a misunderstanding. I'm just old, like, cranky me is slightly annoyed at that. I'm like, why do they always have to have him fight? I know he was their antagonist in the show, but it's like, I just, I don't know. Anyway, regardless... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing, on a superficial level, HD footage of that, because even though Spider Kimonos is getting close, that's still my favorite Sentai suit. And, like, when we did the HD footage for Dimensions in Danger, you had, like, a weird, different colored neck piece, which isn't a huge deal. That's, like, something people freak out over for the Lightning Collection, but it was still a little disappointing. So, superficially, and, you know, we get to see Super Dino Mode, too. I forget what it's called in Alp Ranger, but, uh, it'll be cool to see some HD footage of that, and he is my favorite character, so I'm looking forward to seeing some version of him back. I just hope it doesn't dig up um, the ending of Aubrey Ranger too much. Get it dig up because of, like, fossils. That's not even a good joke. But one of my pet peeves about some of the return specials and V-Cinemas for Sentai and Rider is they'll dig up a good, bittersweet ending. Like, not every series has to have a bittersweet ending for character or story, but sometimes they will, and it'll make the series more memorable and meaningful, and then they'll upend it for more stuff, and it'll bother me. They recently did that with Don Brothers, though it was to be expected, kind of resetting the status quo from the finale, which, again, I knew they were going to do it, and it wasn't terrible. It set the stage fine for whatever they're going to do next, but still stuff like that bothers me. Same, same thing with, like, Build. I loved Build's ending, and I actually still haven't watched the Viva Cinemas. I should probably watch them, but uh, it seems like they dug up a lot of Build's nice, bittersweet ending, but this isn't about Build. Regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing him back. I just hope they handle it well. Um, we also, of course, get a look at the, or more of a look at the power-up mode, the brand new power-up mode we're seeing in this, which we've seen a lot of, but it looks really cool. I really dig it a lot. Uh, it's cool to see some HD and action footage of it. I don't remember if the other trailer had it or the teaser or whatever we got before. Uh, I really hope we get figures of these, this and the Hurricane Drew one or something. Like, as of right now, the only merchandise we have for this is, like, of course, the Memorial Edition Morpher, but that, of course, celebrates the show as well. And I'm unsure whether I'm going to get either of those. I kind of want to get the Alba Ranger one, but I'm not sure. But other than that, you get the face plates, the new face plates that uh, correspond with the new power-ups, but they come with the Blu-rays, and it's, like, over 100 bucks, and it's like, I don't even know if the Blu-rays play in our players here, but even if they do, like, they're not going to have subtitles. I don't know. I wish they came with both the DVD and the the uh, Memorial Edition, because I, I do kind of want the faceplate, but not enough to buy the Blu-ray DVD thing. Uh, regardless, though, I would love to get figure arts of these. Right now, as of this moment, in, in regards to the, uh, the Sentai figure arts revival, we've only been focusing on Reds, Sixth, and Special Rangers type of stuff. But this is a Red and a special type of Ranger thing, so I think to promote that, that would be really cool to get, especially since the chances are practically none we're going to get these for Power Rangers, because as of this moment, it seems we're moving a little bit more away from Sentai stuff, and even if we don't or weren't, and we were doing 
you know, business as usual. We haven't adapted any of the return stuff before. You know, PR existed for a while, and we never touched the Decker Ranger return specials or uh, the old Hurricane Ranger return specials, you know, since it's not MMPR and stuff like that. But I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to checking out this one and the uh, Hurricane Ranger one. I'll probably cover them uh, if I can fit it into the schedule, and uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully a figure out release. But are you guys stoked for this movie? Uh, let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in the notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.